So today we're going to be looking at a uh, 2022 new upgrade professional video camcorder HD 1080p with 16x digital zoom, which basically means that digital zoom is complete garbage. Anyone can do it on any basic editor. So here we got, um, you can import photos, you got a viewfinder, uh, I don't know where the viewfinder is, but okay. Nice size, okay. We've got some wonderful pictures. Okay, sure, sure, sure. I'm calling cap though. But sure, you've got like you've got like the power, zoom, and taking picture. Okay. TV output, wide angle lens. Boy, I'm calling cap on all these features. 16x digital zoom, 24 megapixels, 3.0 megapixel CMOS sensor provides high quality images, max up to 24 megapixels interpolation. Dude, that's going to be like such a garbage picture. 2.4 inches screen. Uh, brand new and high quality. Plastic. 1080p. Video format. Oh boy, this is going to be so yucky. Maximum support for a 32 gigabyte SD card. Look. Um, camera, one data line, and one instruction manual. Oh, due to the difference between different monitors, this picture may not be reflecting the actual item. Please consider this before the purchase. Please allow one to three centimeter tolerance due to manual measurement. Thanks for your understanding. Well, let's get the two million pixels option. 16 megapixels. Anti-shake. Let's get the cool black option. Oh, let's get cool black. And uh, obviously now it's saying that we have you know 16 megapixels, so uh, let's let's give it a shot. Let's buy it. Let's see if we get those 16 megapixels. So I have my camera right here. Um, this is supposedly a full-fledged camera that's like HD um I've seen a lot of crappy cameras in my time of making assorted YouTube videos this one isn't it first off all the buttons feel about as tactile and as responsive as like the slime you make in kindergarten. Um, not to mention, like, why do you even bother with having, like, half this plastic if you're not even going to, like, use it? All that's in here is a digital sensor, I'd assume. We'll crack it open in a sec. So, uh, let's, uh, open it up, if we can, even. And it takes, uh, four AA batteries, so I'll be right back. So, four AA batteries. I, uh, don't know if I trust this, but you know what? Okay. Okay. Oh, it turns on. We actually have something that turns on. It says there's no card though. Um, no videos. Okay. Uh, well, where the heck will we put the card is my other question. Let's put a card in here. See what happens. The card I don't particularly care much for either way. Hey, we've got a card now. Let's try taking a couple pictures. Uh, let's turn on this flash too. I want to see what this flash looks like. Oh! Does the flash not even work? It doesn't look like the flash works at all. We have zoom. Oh! That's the most ra like rancid zoom I have ever seen in my life. Oh gosh, that's such a pain. We can see the previous pictures though. Resolution, 16 megapixels, okay. Quality, 
Super fine. Exposure. Okay. So can we record a video? We can maybe do... This is a video mode? No way. This is going to do 1080p video. It's recording. Okay, so I'm curious on how the microphone sounds on this. What are you guys thinking, guys? Turn this around. Get a nice view. Welcome to the YouTube channel, guys. Pro camera right here. I'm sure there's plenty of good pictures to, to see and stuff. Um, I'll have to figure out how these even show up. Like, how... Especially because the flash doesn't even work on here. Um, yeah, I wonder what these look like, what this video looks like. It's probably pristine quality, especially because it's 1080p, right? Um, totally. You can, you can take a look. Oh, there was my camera up there. Yeah, so you guys can get a pic of the nice view of the overhead camera. So what normal things should sound like when you turn them on. And uh, that doesn't... Yeah, that's that's not what it sounds like here. Um, okay, so there's that. Let's see if we can do play replay back the video real quick. Looks about as high quality as I would expect. So now let's uh, crack it open and see uh, what it looks like inside. So some things I would like to point out though about this, however, is that you likely could salvage whatever the parts are here and make like a really small camera. I think that likely this whole lens here is probably nothing but a digital sensor on the front here. And if you want to make something really small and stuff, you could probably do it relatively cheaply and maybe even modify this into like a much smaller form factor. Clearly what it is now is, oh, it's simply a joke. Is there a screw in here somewhere? Okay, so here we are. We've got a what looks like a small digital screen. Honestly, you can tell already that the buttons are extremely simple. Interesting too is the fact that like, oh, it looks like we even get it a ribbon cable. like the whole rest of this comes apart too. Oh, what do you know? I was right. It was just a sensor on the front. Just a sensor. And the rest is just soldered in. So it looks like all that's right here is just a... Uh, oh, that's a really simple circuit too. All this extra plastic that didn't have to be here could have easily been done differently. I wonder if the sensor will at least work with the Raspberry Pi though. I'd be curious, like would the would the camera sensor just work? It looks like the LED light on the top is wired up. I don't know to what, but it definitely is wired to something. Let's get this front sensor off. Looks like this was manufactured in 2017 too, which is interesting. So here is your actual camera module which makes a lot more sense in the grand scheme of things. I don't know what this love is, but it looks like it could even fit into a Raspberry Pi. Be curious to see. You do even have like a little lens on here. You have like a little lens. Um, actually might be useful for like small little electronics projects. Um, definitely just, you know, record something out of there. Um, it's almost, yeah, entirely a, really just a single chip. And just the rest of it's just a breakout board. Well, that's uh, that, I guess. Surprisingly, the microphone looks like you have a little microphone in there, too. Um, it doesn't look like I'm getting the camera out. I am see interested to see this little camera module, what, what it goes on to, though. But, yeah, much, much smaller. But still, cool little camera. Best part is I think, I think it still would turn on. I can figure out which button is which. And it was like this, so this should be power. Ah, oh, it's probably having a problem. There's no camera module. Yep. And now we have no card, but look at that. You have a little camera module, and you don't even need, like, the whole camera thing. It's literally just these 
couple boards and stuff. So most of these look like they were manufactured um, pretty simply and just uh, and they're just a breakout board. Really, you don't need all this complexity, and especially because you actually have no you know monitor. You have literally no lens of any kind. Um, at least of this size, you have the small one on here. Um, that like, there's no reason for all this excessive camera stuff. It really could just be done much, much smaller. So, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be recording any 4K, uh, 1080p content. Um, the pixel quality on this is uh, abhorrent. I'm to be quite honest with you, a lot of this. I, like most of the features don't even work. The microphone's okay. Like I mean, given what you're paying for, I'll see if I can like desolder some of these parts and make something cool with it. But I'm more interested in this small little screen though. But uh, probably get more stuff out of that or more use out of that than you would anything else. So the point of this story is, I think this was what like thirty bucks for this camera. I mean. Is this camera advertising and has everything that it's advertising? No, absolutely not. But I think that sitting down with it is very clear that um, there are some things that are at least like cool in here. I mean, still, you could just do a digital sensor that could do better than all this. So, I mean, it is up to you. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, hopefully we'll be producing some more content. Winter break is going to look like it's going to be very fun. So uh, hopefully lots of more lots more content for you to enjoy coming up very shortly. Have a uh, wonderful day and I've got to start studying for my finals. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.